Hello guys, here we play back once again with another mastery guide tutorial. And today we'll be taking a look at the boat. This, as of right now, is the hardest gun I've done. Um, I realize I haven't done that many, but this was one that was just awful to do, especially since at the time I didn't have shipment. Now, a lot of the a lot of you who are going for full mastery, or who may not maybe you're just getting like the Odin specifically done for whatever reason you might be wondering what's so bad about the Odin because it doesn't it didn't seem that bad when you were going for Damascus I know that's how a lot of people probably got this gun gold in the first place and now they're looking to go for the mastery challenges um, the Odin just is not good for headshots now so getting gold, it was not too hard because you probably had shipment for it. Or you had some like a really easy playlist that made it so you could just kind of breeze through the thing. This thing is really good in hardcore, um, or at least pretty good. But the problem is when we go to the challenges and you have to get 1,000 headshots with this, it's very difficult, and that is because of the recoil. So keeping the recoil and keep that in mind when I'm going through this is that like I know this seems like a weird class setup and I'll explain everything in depth as we go along. So just wait till I say it before you critique it. Um, so I first of all you have to run the mode for grip. There's no way around this. You need to run the mode for grip if you want to reliably get headshots with this gun. The reason this gun has so much recoil, why it's so bad, it's because it has a two-shot hit, two shot hit potential. Like, you can two-shot people to the upper body with this. That's on par with most of rifles, by the way. They two-shot like this two shots. They might have a better two-shot range, but whatever. Um, this thing can be kitted to be like a DMR also, and I think that's how it's intended to be used. In fact, it has a, what is it, this? It has a, it's a load. Uh, no, that's not it. This is it. It has this ginormous, ginormous Colossus suppressor. With that, it also has a big barrel. You're supposed to use this in two tap people at long ranges. Maybe not even full auto. Like for reference, it fires at four to twenty rounds per minute. Um, as a reference, the M13 is nine hundred. This is half of the M13. Well, like every other gun fires from like seven hundred to nine hundred. So this is really slow firing, and with a really hard recoil, that means it is very very difficult to kind of just like aim at the head and shoot it. In fact, recommend, I, I, for those of you who are having trouble, try single shot, because that actually worked for me. Like, I would very frequently go to single shot and then two tap people to the head. Um, going to the rest of the class, this is gonna be designed for shipment, I will say, because thank God that's a thing now. I did this all without shipment, so. It's, it was painful. Um, we have the stippled grip tape because you need to get that aim down fight. Like, you need to be able to lock onto people fast. Also, this gun is slow handling. It's just slow by default. So we also put on the 5 millimeter laser in this elite comb to get it down. And then we have the Conan Pro Optic. This is for me specifically because I have trouble aiming for headshots. Um, and I really need to, like, whenever I'm aiming at the head, I need to kind of have a zoom in so I can follow it easier. Uh, for those of you on PC, this won't be as much of a problem. And you can like use some other attachment. An attachment, I, I don't use this barrel. Do not use this barrel, it will increase your recoil so much that you won't be able to hit the person in, at all. It's awful. Um, if you're gonna get rid of this, then I would say maybe increase your mag size or maybe put on a perk of some sort, like sleight of hand, or maybe burst fire, because that might be a good compromise. 
I didn't try out the first fire, but maybe you guys will have some more success with it. But yeah, that's the class. Um, I also have the riot shield as my secondary because I have overkill because I don't want to get shot in the back. Uh, the riot shield will save your life on many occasions. And if you have a need to like get more ammo and protect yourself, that's good for that too. Because you will run out of ammo with you and pretty fast. Um, no one really runs ammo like it. I think it actually, I forget what the kind of ammo it has. But yeah, 12.7 times 55. No one else runs it except the other. Um, I think the Rytec is the closest thing at 12 times 50, 12.5 times 57, but I could be wrong. Going into pokes, if you're not using this, then you're just not playing shipment. If you don't want to play shipment, then you probably, then I'm honestly going to say you're going to have a bad time. I've done this in shoot house before, done it in many other maps before. It works best when you are getting the most amount of kills possible because you want to get done with it as soon as possible. Use EOD so you're not getting blown up every three seconds, overkill for the riot shield, and battle hardened so you're not getting um, really taken out by flashes and stuff. The might and stem, these are kind of, if you want to mix these up you can. These aren't hard set in stone. Uh, I just like these because what I'm going in, like, thermites are good for other, right, for people who are using right shields, and stim is good if you get on low health, you can, like, stim up, and then challenge people on head glitches. I will mention that shortly, because head glitches are a big part of this. Um, but before we do that, there is something unique about the Odin that I'm going to mention. Um, the best time I had with the Odin, and how I got over 150 headshots in like 3 matches, was, where is it, this, realism. The Odin is the pretty much ideal thing for realism. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's that's like it's a little niche. It, if you're not using it as the, uh, like... What it's kid what it's kid for is like to be a DMR. You're supposed to use like a DMR that can down convert into an AR. But if you if you're using it like we are, then realism is the way to go. Realism will allow for one shot headshots because in core you can't one shot headshot and that makes this thing a nightmare. You will like one tap someone to the head and then you just can't hit another shot, whether you're on single shot or not. So go if you're having trouble going to realism um, but shipment should do you fine. I wouldn't recommend going into hardcore shipment. The reason for this is because hardcore shipment will result in all one shots. So the second you start, like, if you just so much as graze, graze their left ring finger, you will kill them instantly. It's always a one-shot kill, no matter where I'm caught. Um, going into the there is Odin challenges, the headshots are obviously what I'm focusing on. Um, you're gonna want a head glitch in shipment. I will show you what I mean by that. Exact, like you have an idea, but I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, I'll give some tips. Kills will just come naturally. Um, you want to be keeping this ratio at above. Point, at around 0.4. Not above, not below. The reason for this is because if you have a 0.4 or 40% headshot ratio, then you will be able to quickly and this, well, I shouldn't say quickly and easily, but these will go up at the exact same rate. Because if you're wondering how I got that, you know, what your headshot ratio is, your headshot ratio for all future videos this applies to. Take the amount of headshots you have, put it over the amount of kills you have, only within these two, within this box, by the way, uh, and that's your headshot ratio essentially. Uh, it's going to differ for the act for the gun as a whole, but we're just looking at it with respect to the challenges. You want it to be at a forty percent. Uh, just whip out your phone, like type in, like let's say I did these two. Um, and I did like, okay, so I have 250 headshots, 250, and I have 500 kills, 250 over 500, that's 0.5. So that means my kill, I'm getting too many kills. I want that to go down. So I get 
more headshot kills, and then I, I can inflate that. Um, you want that? Well, if you keep those stable, then this will come whenever you get it. It's gonna be long, and it's gonna be hard. Uh, the Odin was probably the worst gun I've done. In fact, it threw me off schedule. Uh, I think it took one or two extra days to do just because of how bad it was doing it with the playlists that I had. I was getting maybe five headshots per game. Um, going into the skill challenges, this is easy. You should be getting the first skill challenge. You should be doing, um, if you're just doing the shipment stuff. You can do shoot house for some of these challenges, and I might recommend them. Like, for the sliding, for the sliding challenge, you really shouldn't, maybe. I don't know. The problem with the sliding is that, like, well, actually, no, you, is like, how do I say this? The hip fire on the Odin is not that bad. The problem with it is that your shots are so slow. They are so slow that you won't hit two shots. If you are sliding into someone on hardcore, then that's the only way you're really going to be able to do it, and they have to know you're not there. Or they have to not know you're there. So, I would say go into hardcore shoot house or something like that and do this. Because uh, you need to be able to get behind people easily. On shipment, you'll get like just die too much. Crouching kills, you have to do this for gold. That's not hard. For this, um, for the, using four attachments, you get 25.5 headshot kills. So, I would take off this OE comb. Because uh, that's probably the least useful. And then, just get behind people. Go into shoot house and get behind people. Um, like just literally walk up to them while they're on the head glitch, just pop them in the head. Preferably on realism or hardcore, but take what you can get. If you're on shipment, charge into people's spawns and then like just get in their face. This is more difficult than it sounds, especially with the bad handling on the Odin, but you'll make it work. It's only 25 kills. Now let's go into a private match so I can kind of show you guys what you'll be working with. Um, so, custom game, I have it in realism, just so that way I don't have HUD, um, makes for better YouTube content. So, for shipment, this is what you want to be, this is your bread and butter. This is where you want to be getting all of your headshots in. You want to know this map, like everyone knows this map, but you want to know it better than they do. You want to know not only where they are spawning, but where your team is spawning and where you're going to be spawning if you die. Or maybe not that far. Uh, also ignore the reticle, I realize that's bad. Now, as you can see, this still is slow to aim down sights. However, the reason that we don't have the tack laser on this Team death match. is because Enemy incoming. if we have the tack laser on it, then what will happen is when we aim down sights like this, that laser will shine directly across to the uh, Palettes and they'll be able to see us. So I like to keep that off. And what we want to do is we'll take note of where our team is spawning. Like let's say my team is spawning in over there. I will set up right like this and wait. That's all it. Sometimes I might do something like this. Maybe around here. But the Odin has such strong like let me show you how strong this is, even with what I've done. I'm not controlling that at all, but I'll do a lot of control of it. And, but when someone's moving around, like, this is not going to be consistent. However, when I mount, I'm not going to be Low ammo. You can see it's way more bunched up, especially with each individual bullet. But even, like, if I try to control it, I used up all my ammo, but ignore that. You can see that I can really keep it bunched up. And you can challenge other people who will try to head glitch you because they'll know you're here. Um, and you can just like start bopping people off of head glitches. Because the fun part about this is it's a two shot headshot. And while they're like spraying bullets all around you, maybe landing a couple hits, you're gonna have like zero to no, not zero, little to no flinch while on this. So you can just go bop bop and then they'll be done. Um, 
If you're on this side, use these bells right here. Maybe these bells. I don't know if I'd recommend the blue bells because it leaves you so like someone can literally do this and then they'll just shoot you if they're right there. The forklift gives you protection. You can also check down mid sight lines. I would not recommend this though. People never like come through here. Or if they do, like that's like this, and it's not enough to usually get a headshot. If you're right here by dumpsters, you can do something like this to challenge people who often go on those blue barrels. Or more commonly, do this. Um, you can also literally sit right here, but this is way harder because you're not going to have any mounting surfaces. If you go right back here, use these. Uh, this is really, this barrel right here is very underrated. So, I don't know why. But a lot of people don't realize that if you're sitting right here, the anyone coming that's like trying to flank you can't see you. They have to sweep through your entire spawn first, which can happen, but whatever. So what you do is you sit right here, and anyone who pops out you can nail. And even if someone pops out right here and is like right in your face, you can still like you'll still be like kind of protected by this barrel. Like they have to come for you multiple times before you they'll actually be able to. So make sure you're using this barrel to your advantage. Um, I think that's about it. I would stick to shipment for most of the time because of how easy it is to mount somewhere. Don't feel bad for playing like this. Uh, I know at first you'll think you can do it. You can't. Just accept your defeat. You're not going to have any dignity in going for these things. But yeah, that's about going to wrap it up for me. Um, I know I rambled a fair about Enough. Bit no long one wins this episode, today. but I, I need to drive the point home to you guys that the Odin is not easy. At least it wasn't for me. I got a lot of my headshots from simply going into shipment realism mode. Um, in fact, I actually got like I tied my kill record 117. I realize that's not the best, but with the Odin, that's really good. Um, only use shoot house if you're going for specific challenges. Um, also realize this is 8v8 right now. I don't know why they made 8v8, they just did. Um, so if you're going to do that, keep in mind there's going to be more people than normal. I found a lot of head glitches by the way. Oh, actually that is something I should mention. Everyone is going for the new sniper right now. So there's going to be a lot of people on those head glitches. Use that to your advantage. Take them off a bit. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy this little guide, or not so little guide video. Um, I will next be having the scar. That's what I'm working on right now. Um, but that should go pretty fast. Like with shipment here, take advantage of it while you can. It's really nice and it helps accelerate this process by a ton. If you'd like to see more of this, leave a like and subscribe, or leave me a comment and tell me what gun you want me to do next. It really gives me a lot of ideas and inspires me when you guys like give me suggestions and all that sort of stuff and it will give me up get these out faster. So I want to be able to help you so that way while my brain melts, yours kind of stays somewhat a mushy lump. Cause it's gonna melt somewhat either way. <laughs> Alright. See you guys later.